Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll uh, take a look at how to create GeoGebra virtual simulations um, in mathematics and embed those simulations in your Moodle page. As you can see here, I've got GeoGebra's uh, website open, um, geogebra.org, um, and uh, once I'm on GeoGebra, I just click the download link to take me to this page. The um, button that I want to press depends on how I want to set this up. If I do the web start, what this will actually do is install GeoGebra on my own computer um, so that if I'm in a place without uh, internet access, I can run GeoGebra without uh, being online. However, if you don't want to install GeoGebra on your computer, you don't need to. Um, all you have to do is press this button here that says Applet Start. And what that will do is actually start the GeoGebra application within your uh, web browser. And so as you can see here, I've got GeoGebra now running um, directly in my, uh, my browser window. GeoGebra, if you haven't used it before, is um, a, uh, a mathematical graphical um, visualization tool. Um, you can test out a number of different properties. For example, if I wanted to uh, demonstrate the uh, inscribed central angle theorem to uh, uh, say Math uh, 9 students, um, all I would need to do is simply uh, choose my circle tool just by clicking on it. Um, just click anywhere on the screen and pull it out so that I have a circle. Um, I can then uh, just go to this drop down on my lines tool and just choose line segments and I can just draw a number of line segments so I can click on the A down to the B and it will actually attach the uh, segment to that point. Um, I can then go from B up to some point on the edge of the circle. You see it snaps, creates a, uh, a point called C. Uh, click on the C, go down to another point on the circle uh, then click on the D and go back to the A so that I have the typical uh, central and inscribed angle uh, shape. Um, the neat thing with GeoGebra is I can actually now go to my move tool, this little arrow, and if you um, grab these points, you can see that those points will actually uh, be stuck on the geometric shapes that I've chosen. So in this case, the point C is stuck on the edge of the circle, so as I move that around, the point goes with it. Uh, likewise with the D, I can move that and it will stay in place. So I'm just going to add a couple measurements to that. So I'm going to go to my angle measurement tool, which is right here, and I want to measure angles. Um, I'm going to click on the three points for the uh, central angle, so one, two, three, and you can see that the angle appears there, 83.71 now. And um, if I click on one, two, three, there's my 41.86. And the students can, uh, again, take this move tool and show that no matter where I put C, those two numbers are the same thing, which is one of the uh, properties. Also, that if I move D, that no matter what happens between uh, these two values, that the central angle is always double the um, inscribed angle. Now this is really neat and it's, it's, it's interesting to watch in a video, but it would be really great in my Moodle classroom if the students could, uh, could play with this on their own. So I'm going to actually set that up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to uh, File, and on my File menu I'm going to choose Export. Under Export, what I want to choose is Dynamic Worksheet as Web Page, and it'll take me to an Export window. What I can now do is if I click on Advanced, I can actually set this up to go directly to my Moodle. So I have a number of options. Um, the title and author for what we're going to do doesn't matter. We're going to embed this directly into the Moodle page. Um, do we want students to be able to right-click on it? Not in this case. Uh, do we want students to be able to drag labels? Not in this case either. Uh, do we want a menu bar, a toolbar, or an input bar? No, although in some situations you may choose to. But now what I'm going to do is, first of all, make sure that this is small enough to fit on my Moodle page. So I'm going to change that from a 700 and some to 600 for a width. Um, 600 is probably your ideal width for most Moodle themes. Uh, then down here where it says File, I'm going to click on this and go to Clipboard Moodle. When I choose Clipboard Moodle, um, that actually will take all of the information required to generate this applet 
and embed it within your computer's clipboard in a format Moodle can understand. So if I now push this clipboard button, this entire applet is now ready to paste onto my Moodle page. So let's visit our Moodle page. So you can see I've got a uh, Moodle page with editing turned on. So that I have room to do this, I'm going to actually create a, a sub page. I'm going to create a page in Moodle. Um, I will call this page um, uh, GeoGebra example. Um, doesn't really matter what I put in the description, but now when I get to the page content, before pasting, I'm going to go over here and choose this HTML button. And what that does is allows me to actually put a program directly into the Moodle page. So when I push this button, you'll see a new pop-up appears, and I can just literally just right-click on there and choose Paste, and all of a sudden, all of this mess appears. Now, as scary as that mess looks, I don't really care what's in there. I just care that it's, that it's pasted into that uh, HTML editor. Now what I can do is press Update, and you'll find that the browser takes a second because it has some work to do in the background. But once it's done, you'll see this little black square as, all of a sudden, my applet is now embedded within the Moodle page. So now all I need to do is just go back, save and display. And you'll see that the page now opens with the GeoGebra applet in it. And now kids, um, again, running within the Moodle page, you can see I'm just sitting in the main Moodle page, can actually just grab points and uh, and demonstrate those same circle properties that they were able to within the, the GeoGebra program. As always, if you have any questions on how this works or any other questions regarding Moodle, uh, feel free to drop me a note.